Hi, I'm Jeff Stokes. Welcome to Jeff's Daily Dose of Encouragement. Today I want to encourage you in the hope of the resurrection. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he be dead, yet shall he live. In the world that we live in, most people as most Christians know, don't have hope other than in the fact that they might live a good life and then a lot of people don't even care what's going to happen. They're going to snuff out at the end of this life and they don't even know what's going to happen. Some people think there's nothing at the end. Some people think there's no life after death, no eternity or anything. The fact of the matter is that if we as believers believe in Jesus Christ, it says if the spirit of him who raised up Jesus from the dead be in you, he who raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit who dwells in you. It says in 1 Corinthians 15, 19 that if, if in this life only we have hope, then we are of all men most miserable. I mean, what is the point of having a saviour who sacrificed his life, very God himself, coming to earth as a man and s sacrificing himself so that we could be forgiven for our sins and then there's nothing else after that. What is the point? The point is that God wants to save us from damnation. He wants to save us from condemnation. He wants to save us from perishing, from going to destruction, from going to hell, from going into the lake of fire where the devil and his angels are destined to go. And so the point of saving us from our sins is so that we could have the nature of Christ living in us and be found worthy in his sight to be able to live with him forever. And we know that that miracle is going to happen one day where at the sound of the voice of the archangel, at the sound of the trumpet, the dead in Christ shall rise first and then those that are alive and remain will be caught up together with them to meet them in the air. That is a major miracle. There, there must be millions and millions and millions of people over the last 2,000 years, plus the saints that Jesus spoke to when he rose from the dead. He went down to the grave and then rose from the dead. There's going to be millions and millions and millions of people in the grave and then those on the earth at the time that are all going to be raised up in the twinkling of an eye and changed and given a new resurrected glorified body just as the very Christ himself has. So if you're living at the moment a life and you feel like life down on this earth isn't much chop and especially perhaps people that are getting towards the end of their days and are yearning to get out of here, you have a hope of the resurrection. It says that in Romans 8 that, you know, the spirit groans within us that we groan within ourselves waiting for the adoption, the redemption of our bodies. It's lots of places say that. And there's going to be a new heavens and a new earth. And we who believe in Jesus Christ and are filled with the Spirit have the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. We have that resurrection and life in us. And that same Spirit that rose Jesus from the dead will raise us up at the last day and we will live with him forever. So that's my encouragement for you today as you have hope of the resurrection. If you would like hope of resurrection, hope of having something more than just this life and then being snuffed out, then if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved, for whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him, and he in God. 
He shed his blood. He died on a cruel cross and shed his blood for your sin so that you can be forgiven. Then filled with the Spirit of God so that he can too raise you up at the last day. And while you're living out this life, you have hope. At the very least, you have hope that that is a certainty that will happen. So God bless you. Have a great day.